Hello, it is Mac here, and today I'm going to about five miscellaneous things I think that could greatly improve GTA Online. And whenever I say miscellaneous, I'm not talking about all oh, cars or guns or anything like that, or you know anything like oh we need you know jetpacks or the casino or anything like that. You know these are just some uh, sort of patch stuff that you know stuff that you would see in a patch, but it's not like a patch you know 1.32 you know, wish list or anything. I used to make those quite a bit, uh, you know, back in the day, but the problem with those is if I really wanted, like, the best patch, and if I could probably go on for hours on end just talking about all the minor things in this game that I think needs to be fixed, and a lot of the bigger stuff that I think needs to be fixed as well. But the problem with that is that would not only take hours just to go through it all, but it would also, that, that, that would never happen in one patch. So pretty much, I'm just going to talk about miscellaneous things I think uh, could be fixed and would really improve the game, at least in my opinion, uh, with this. Now, um, I may make some other videos on this, you know, five other things, and just keep doing that. I think that would be kind of nice, and also I want to get your thoughts on what you think could be fixed as well. So the first thing is new winning animations. Now, what I mean by this is, um, I sort of had this idea yesterday where we've seen a lot of you know, pictures from Rockstar, you know, uh, showing off DLCs and stuff, and they'll show off, like, new cars and stuff, and it's just these people leaning up against a car. Now, we've also seen other animations. I'll put some screenshots on your screen right now of a lot of different animations that they have in the game right now, and we don't have those animations. We don't know if they're ever going to come out um, as, you know, different taunts and stuff, but what I was thinking is, it would say you enjoy the T20, and let's say if you win 100 races with the T20, you would get a new animation. So whenever you win a race with that with that vehicle and in like the winning screen and stuff, if you would like lean up against your car and do some animation or something like that, they could have may you know maybe multiple animations. So like ones like a lean or ones I don't know you get inside the car or something. I don't know. The animation team could really you know just you know go go all out with this, right? And it would not only give people an incentive to use that vehicle, because they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to keep using this Osiris because I want to get, you know, the animation for it. Or, you know, I, I really enjoy the Prairie. I'm going to go, you know, use this car and try and get the animation. And it would kind of be exclusive because, you know, even if they made them, like, say, 100 races or maybe they have multiple animations. So, like, one's 50 races and then another animation's 100 races. Then another one's, like, 250 or something. Not that many people use their that same car that much, so I think that would be very nice. And sure, people would probably just keep using the same car over and over, but I feel like that's a little bit better, you know, just because it actually gives you an incentive to use that car in races. And they could also do it for weapons. We've seen uh, at the start of jobs where you have like your animation with your gun, that was, I don't think that was on last gen, I may be wrong because I haven't played last gen in a long time, especially, you know, death matches and stuff on last gen, but I'm pretty sure that was a next gen only feature uh, where they'd have these animations. So let's say you get 1,000 kills with the advanced rifle, well, now you get this cool animation in your winning screen, let's say you win, you know, a death match or something and you're, you know, the MVP, you would get this cool animation, and I think that would you know, it just greatly help out the game and just make people want to use the same weapon over and over again. Because right now, the only incentive is the tins, which ends at 600 kills. So if they made them a lot of kills, that would be cool. Now, next is an ability to change HUD. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of the HUD for GTA 5. I, I think there's a lot of things on it, like, say, the ammo counter. I don't like that being in the top right. I'd rather move that to maybe the t bottom left or the bottom right. And, you know, just a lot of other things, I feel I would, you know, rather move them around to different corners or stuff like that, or maybe even the middle of the screen or something like that. And I feel like if they gave us the ability to change HUD, that would be an awesome feature as well. It gives you a little bit of, you know, more personalization to your character and to your HUD. And also, if you could change the colors on them, you know, let's say you could, you know, change your reticle color, or um, let's say you could change the wanted color or something like that. That would be also very nice. I know some people who would probably, you know, would say they play like maybe Call of Duty often and they want their, uh, you know, their radar, you know, their mini map to be in the top left. 
some people probably would enjoy that much more and they're much more used to say you know the call of duty hud system and stuff i think that they should give us the ability to uh change the like the minimap size the minimap in, in gta for me is a little too small i would rather have it a little bit bigger but you know they don't really give us that so i think that would be an amazing change as well and then another thing moving on it was an option in whenever you're starting up an lts like whenever you're in this job lobby screen I think that it would be awesome if, if there was an option for an LTS no radar. Now what I mean by this is if you ever play an LTS, you're always on radar. Now sure some people probably enjoy it. I think some LTSs work well with it, but at the same time, there are some LTSs that are maybe a little bit larger, maybe you want to be a little more stealthy, but you can't do that in LTSs because you're always on the radar unless you, you know, call uh, Lester. And sure that's a cool, you know, idea, you know, if you want to go off radar, you're going to have to call Lester. But I feel like they should have it sort of like, you know, death matches and stuff where you're not always on radar, but if you shoot, then you're on radar. And that would just be a nice option. You don't have to do it, but there are some LTSs that would you know, benefit from that because they want you to be a little bit more stealth. And the next two are sort of, you know, job related. And one is if you could, whenever you place, say, a weapon or a vehicle or something in the creator, if you could change the spawn rates. Also, with weapons is if you could change the ammo count of them. Now, I said this in my recent video um, about the adversary creator, and I think that this would be amazing because, you know, there are some weapons, like, say, sticky bombs, where they're, you know, they're a cool idea and sort of a power weapon in your deathmatch, but they have eight sticky bombs, or, you know, grenades are the same deal. I would rather have them maybe two or, you know, maybe four. depends on the map. Same with, say, snipers or stuff. Would say, you know, it would say you want to have like an SMG in your map, and you also want to have like, say, an MG, but the MG only has one magazine of ammo, and the SMG has, say, four whenever you pick it up. That would be, that would be nice. And I feel like just giving us that option would be, you know, just amazing, because right now, each weapon has its own set of ammo. And also, I think spawn rates would work out very well. I feel like the creator is underdeveloped right now, and they haven't proved it, but I feel like they. Uh, need to fix the technical side of it you know i feel like right now the place and props and all that all that works right but i feel like we need sort of more technical things to do with it like i said with the spawn race and stuff you know uh, being able to alter those make your job much more personalized than everybody else's i, I feel like that is what we need with the creator uh, right now. Next is, and finally, is weapon sets for players. With the Beast vs. Slasher game mode, we have sort of like the Slashers have different roles. You have Demolition, which has an RPG. You have Assault, which has a Railgun. Then you also have the Minigun, which is from the Heavy Guy. And I feel like different roles would be awesome in this game. Like, imagine if you're in a death match and it's maybe a little bit bigger and there's vehicles. Well, let's say, you know, one person's on, he has a row of, you know, RPGs and, you know, grenade launchers and stuff. And then there's another dude who has, like, a sniper role. And then there's one other dude who has, you know, maybe an SMG and stuff like that. I feel like different roles would be awesome. But also, right now, we only have one forced weapon. I feel like we should be able to sort of customize each player's different sort of weapon class or, you know, weapon set. So let's say everybody that spawns into this map gets, you know, two grenades, one carbine rifle, and, you know, a pistol or something. Or let's say everybody gets, you know, two RPG shots, a sticky bomb, and maybe some snipers, and maybe an MG or something. And also, if there were, you know, different roles, like, say, if you had, like, a jet map, you'd have, like, a pilot, and then, you know, maybe there were ground people as well. Um, that would also be cool. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Would you like any of these changes? Would you like all of them? Also, do you have any changes that you would like to see that sort of relate to this, or even if they're not related at all to any of the ones I talked about? Also, would you like to see more of these in the future? Uh, let me know that in the comments. But hope you enjoy. Feedback is always precious, and I'll see you guys in the next video.